Hello, hello, good evening. Hi, teacher, good evening. Hi, good guys. Evening. How are you? Hi, Joshua, Irving, good evening, Krisha. Give me a second, let me open up my camera. All right, guys, so thanks a lot for joining today. Welcome to our session number 12. Week number three is over. And uh, so we are like super close to finishing this module. How was your day, guys? Guys, can you hear me? Can everybody hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Oh, OK. Thank you. I see a message here saying that uh, my audio was not activated. This is so weird. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, thank you so much for joining and welcome to today's session. We are going to be working today a little bit with um, like conditionals that is part of unit number four, right? So we are going to review this um, structure a little bit. And of course, we are going to practice um, this topic like super uh, briefly. So let me see. All right, so I see Adrian, uh, Claudia, good evening guys. Cody, hello. Dagoberto, great to see hello. you. Hi, Fernando, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Great to good see evening. you guys. Good Thank evening. you for opening Hi, your camera evening. too. Hi. Hi, Noemi. Hi, Raul, great to see you. Thank Hi, you. Teacher. Hi, Sylvia, good evening. Hi, guys. Thanks a lot for joining. Really nice to see you on this Thursday. And especially because week number three is over. Oh my God, time is running super quick. All right, uh, to get us started today, I have a little exercise. Do you like trivia, guys? Are you good with trivias? Maybe. I know what it is. Uh, like trivia is just like questions, right? Questions uh, for general knowledge. So we can ask you about, I don't know, the planet, music, movies, for example, occupations, etc. But uh, are you into trivia? Mm -hmm. Do you like them? Yes, of course. Yes, teacher. Little. Are you good? Are you good with trivias? Maybe. Probably. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> okay, nice. Um, so I have a couple of questions for you. Okay, I don't have the questions on the screen because the idea is to focus on listening. Okay. So I'm going to read you the question. And if you know the answer, so you can open just your microphone, of course. You cannot Google the answer. <laughs> okay, you're not supposed to go to Google, uh, but just think, try to remember and give us an answer, okay? So guys, I hope you are ready. So let's get started. Question, oh, by the way, these are about animals. So all the questions I will be asking uh, you today are related to animals. So question number one. Da, 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 da. Okay, question number one. Um, what is the fastest animal over the land? What is the fastest Leopard. animal? Cheetah. Yes, a cheetah. cheetah. Yes, very nice. I don't know who said, but it was a boy. 
So very nice job. Hey, Jolanda, great to see you. Welcome back. Thank you, teacher. We missed you. How you doing? Uh, yeah, I had bad days this oh. week. Sorry yes, to hear I worked about until it. Like, uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> well, that's really bad. Well, but the good thing is if you love your job, you know, that's positive, I guess. <laughs> okay, Sometimes and it's the last I hate day. it. Oh, no, <laughs> really? Do you? Uh, but I need the money. This is the problem. <laughs> I understand you 100%. Now, <laughs> now I love my job. <laughs> No, my job is not. Uh, that is something I love, you know. So, but I totally uh -huh. get you. I love your job because it's recording right now. <laughs> uh, no, not even. Not, not because it's recorded, but because I enjoy it, you know. Because I normally I'm doing home office, so I don't talk to other people but my sister. So talking to you is feels cool, <laughs> and I'm a super curious person. So when I have like the, the chances uh, to listen to other people, to listen to experiences, it feels good. So I really love that part of my job. <laughs> I don't like the paperwork though. <laughs> okay, but I get to Yolanda, no worries. Okay, so somebody said Tita. I don't know exactly who the person was. I just heard a voice. Wait, I'm going to stop sharing my screen because I want to listen and I want to know who is speaking. Otherwise, I cannot get that. Okay, that was the first try, right? Just for us to get familiar with this. Question number two. Now we are going to give some points here. Question two. What is the largest animal over the land? What is the largest animal? Anaconda, I think. The elephant. Anaconda. The whale. The whale. Large? Fernando got it. Yeah, oh. that's the elephant. Actually, it's African elephant, but yes, it's an elephant. Nice, the very largest, good. Ah, the, of the, land. the largest, okay. uh -huh, the largest land animal. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Da -da -da -da. Okay. How many legs? How many legs does a butterfly have? How many legs does a butterfly have? Six. Eight. Yes, yes, Mauricio <laughs> got it. That is six. Okay, good. Experience, good, good. experience. <laughs> ah, you see? <laughs> okay, there it's you go. Place. Okay, uh, easy. Next one. I think it's easy. How many legs does an octopus have? How hey. many legs? Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, oh my God, how do you know? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Experience again. Okay. Experience again. Not even from Spider-Man, you know, I never counted the legs. So. <laughs> okay, cool. I think cool. I think it's on the movie. Mm -hmm, yeah. Well, the but nice. Because those are like like I don't know, random facts. So I think it's really interesting. Uh -huh. Okay, <coughs> next one. No, mm, okay, let's see. Sorry. No worries, that's okay. All right. Oh my God. Okay. These are these are too easy for you. So wait. <laughs> I, I got to look for more difficult questions because I see that you're really good. Okay. Oh, uh, next question. What is the B most dangerous? The the V. Uh-huh. Isn't it the black widow? No, the B, the beast, the B. Uh, oh, the V. The beast. Uh -huh. I don't is, know what I'm what thinking. What is the most about? dangerous? Beast. <laughs> Aurcadora. <laughs> Aurcadora. What's Aurcadora? that? Is that the name of the V? <laughs> I think it's Africanis. African. African. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. African beast. Uh, African. Exactly. African is beast. It? Is Aurcadora in El Salvador? It was a program oh, here yeah. right now. No, right now, no, but in the morning. Ah. Today. <laughs> oh, uh, copy. <laughs> Why yeah. are there are they here in El Salvador? Are there yeah, like any Africans? Yes, uh -huh. really? very very dangerous. But like when you say they dangerous, can... you mean for people or poisonous? You no, can they can they can kill you. Oh, so they, they are poisonous. Uh -huh, if they attack in group, they, uh -huh, they can oh. kill you. Oh, seriously? I'm sorry, 
Uh, I'm sorry, he says. But, Actually, but I think they are Asian. In Asian, Asian bees. Yeah, the most dangerous. Um, uh, no, quite sure. Nation, nation. But but is is that a threat against Salvador right now? You can find superpower like Spider. -Man. It was a threat in the United States. <laughs> African man. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> seriously? Okay. Cascabeles. Yeah, what's up? But those are it's snakes, right? The, the yeah, red old snake? Uh huh. All right. Oh. Yeah. In a what's up? Okay. Well, but, but I, I, I think uh, that this kind of bees attacking group, this is the problem. Not, uh -huh. not only mm -hmm. one. Uh huh, and and they attack in group, and they are dangerous for that's this why reason. they can be dangerous. All right, that that's a really interesting thing because I didn't know that uh, bees had migrated to this area. You know, in America, I think I heard <laughs> in USA, but like no, we last have in year, all American, we have we? right now in all American. I think so. Uh huh. Oh, all yeah. right. It's really interesting. I didn't know. I, you know, I don't normally watch news. So I'm like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so I didn't know about the bees. Thank you for, for sharing those things. They are not random facts. So they are like news. Pretty interesting though. All right. I'm going to prepare more difficult questions next time because the questions you got now, they were super easy for you. So good job. That was really nice. <laughs> All right. Guys, um, today's topic actually is conditional number one. There is a video in the platform that I'm really sure you have already seen it. That is in unit number four in section 4.10, right? So these people here, so we are talking about uh, possibilities and this is why this uh, topic is quite interesting. So let me just share, I'm sure you have seen the video, but just to uh, refresh the topic a little bit, let's watch some pieces of this. Possible situation. Mm -hmm. So um, conditionals are the if, right? Conditionals are like, what is going to happen if there is a condition? So conditional number one or first conditional. And normally we are talking about uh, possibilities, all right? So a possible situation. Uh, let me just play this so we can listen to a little bit of the explanation and then, and then we practice. Program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job, Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the time you might get. Okay. So I want to stop here in the examples because I think they are really uh, well explained, let's say. So we are talking about possible scenarios. Uh, we are not talking about something real, but we are talking about possibilities in the future. If you check it out, normally we use a will or uh, the negative way, right? That is want to talk about these possibilities. So there are some structures that we need to follow in order to express ideas clearly. For example, here, if you get a high paying job, this is simple present, you will or you won't. So if you get a high paying job, uh, you will have more money to spend. Uh, you will travel more often. You will have a better life. So guys, uh, if you get a high paying job, what will you do? What can be like a consequence, a possibility? What do you think you will do with the money? I will save money. Oh, very nice. Okay. And I'm thinking if, about a spending. <laughs> so if, okay, so you will save money. Guys, what about the rest? 
So if you get a high paying job, uh, you will save some money. What else? I can... Um, you will hurt a lot. You, you will, will work a lot. You will work a lot. Uh -huh. Oh, but, but imagine that if you, oh, okay, maybe, right? Maybe because you get more money. So the, mm -hmm. the, the job is a little harder, okay? So you will work harder. That could definitely work. What else, guys? What will you do? I can in, invest in, I don't know how to say invest. Invest, yes. Invest. So if you get a high paying job, you will invest part of your invest. money. All right, yeah, that can definitely work. So let's take a look at this. Here we have will and want. We have might and we have may. We are going to use might and mate as well because this is a possibility, right? There is a little bit of uncertainty. I'm not sure. I'm just thinking that it could be possible. So this is the idea with conditional number one. We are going to talk about uh, the if, the what is going to happen in the future. Imagine guys, for example, um, now we were talking about animals before. So if I see, um, are you afraid of any animal? Uh, are you afraid of insects, animals? I don't know how to Vampiros. say iguanas. Vampires. Vampires. <laughs> are you afraid of iguanas? Where? No. Iguanas, yes. Um, Oh, you're afraid of iguanas. I'm oh, really of interesting. Them. Okay. Oh, I really hate them. Maybe oh. a lion. A lion, teacher. A lion. Okay. No, but but what about here? What about uh, the most common insects or animals that we can see in in like El Salvador, for example? Mouse cockroaches. Okay. <laughs> the flying <laughs> cockroach. <laughs> okay. So imagine, for example, that we see like um, let me think about an insect. Uh, but this is really interesting. I have never um, heard that a person was kind of scared of an iguana. So what will you do, Cody? In your case, if you saw, uh, if you oh see an iguana, <laughs> will you scream? I can never like an iguana. I will do in sopa. Uh -huh. No, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> no, they are protected. They are endangered species, I, I think. <laughs> Sophia, yeah. what would you do with the iguana? Illegal. Illegal. Uh, illegal. I think so. I think it's illegal. Huh? It's illegal. Sí, sí, no. English, <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> So Sophia is not as scary of iguanas. But have you ever eaten iguanas, Sophia? Have you ever eaten iguanas? No, my mother don't like because she says it's tienen derecho a vivir. Okay, they have a right to live as well. Okay. okay. In other words, it's, it's very tasteful. Oh, okay, okay. I, I have heard a lot of people who likes them. I don't really like them. I don't like the, the, the texture, I think, because they feel like, I don't know, sticky. Uh, for me, they are super sticky. I don't know, if, guys, if you like, like lizards. It's super wild texture. I'm sorry? Sticky. That, that texture for what? Uh, for iguanas, iguanas, garrobos, oh. lizards, all those things. So they are like kind of a stick. No. Yeah, oh. so, uh, 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 that's not my thing. <laughs> but if you like it, that's okay. Um, imagine that we see, for example, cockroaches. Are you scared of cockroaches? Cockroaches. Mm -hmm. when, when it fly, yes, <laughs> Okay, so if you when see a cockroach, fly. what would you do? Let, let, let's write it here. So, I want to uh -huh. I, I want like I found the bygone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will use bygone. Yeah. I will use yeah. 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 some people. Call, uh, it's cucarachas. Cockroach. I'm sorry, what happened with the cockroach, Yolanda? Uh, some people eat cucarachas. 
Go crouch. Go crouch. Yes. All nations are part of the of the food. Oh. Exotic food. Exotic oh. food, I think. That's a really good point. Maybe if we live in China, uh, uh, we will eat many insects. We will eat insects, uh -huh. like cockroaches, worms, uh, grasshoppers. Uh, what else? What do they eat? Rats, I think. Grillos. How do you say grillos? Grasshoppers. Uh -huh. grasshoppers. Ah, grasshoppers. They eat yes. chuchos. Grasshoppers. So popos. Yes, maybe dogs. So grasshoppers, <laughs> uh, scorpions. scorpions, dogs, cats, everything they can, uh, dogs, uh-huh. So, uh, but we live in El Salvador. I don't know if in El Salvador you can do it, but yeah, it sounds like really disgusting. <laughs> I think it's, it, it depends on the, I don't know, the um, <laughs> raza. Breed. <laughs> or, or the... What are you talking about dogs? No, teacher. Uh, I I think it depends on the uh, kind of cockroach you eat. Uh, uh, okay. okay. <laughs> yes, because it's, okay. I think I think what? it's not the the la. I don't. They don't live in the alcantarilla, no. <laughs> I no. want to believe. I want yes. to believe that they have farms. For cockroaches. Yes, because yes, I ate. They have. Criollas. I don't know I how to say. Corn. Criollas. No, native. <laughs> native <laughs> cockroaches. They. Ah, uh, yeah. I want to believe that they have farms and they feed them and everything. Like in El Salvador, we have uh, frogs, right? Uh, so if you like guys uh, going to Huayua, for example, you can buy a uh, frog legs. There are some oh. farms for frogs, uh -huh. so I want to believe that the same happens with the cockroaches. But guys, yes. have you ever eaten anything exotic? I never eat. Yes. No. What is the most exotic food you have eaten? Worm. Worms. Worms. I, I eat. Yes, it. Uh, I think. Uh, no. Uh, when I was in, I don't Ecuador. Uh -huh. I uh -huh, around the the river. Uh, I ate worm. Uh, it yes. was delicious, teacher. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh, delicious. What did you eat? What did you eat? Worm. Little snakes. But it, yes, they me. are special. <laughs> uh, they are special. What breed of um, worm? <laughs> a special, I don't know, a species maybe. Uh -huh. Probably a special species. Yeah, I think you cannot eat any type of worm. But I think, for example, when we eat arrayanes and guavas, <laughs> So we eat worms, those little uh, mm -hmm. worms. So, and that's very ah, common. Okay. Yeah. Raul, oh, what did you eat? Teacher. I, I, yes? I, 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 I eat kusuko. What do you kusuko. say? Kusuko. Armadillo. Uh -huh. Armadillo. Oh, yes. You got armadillo. Raul, Raul has something interesting to I, tell us. I eat, yes, I eat cuyos. It's like cuyos. Um, a rat. That's a bird. Uh, no, a rat. A rat. Uh -huh. Oh, that's yes, a rat. Yes, well, but it's our. In Peru. Oh, how was that? How was it like? Uh, was it delicious? Like, uh, yes, I like. Uh, it's like uh, when you eat chicken, but uh, I I see no, I saw the the preparation. Uh, okay. The in, in, oh. In, uh, in a pot. In a pot. In a pot, in, mm -hmm. in a big pot, and I like uh, it. Cuyos. Oh, very interesting. So that was in Peru, you said. Oh, okay, okay. So worms, uh, cuyos. Yes. Lulo, teacher. Here watch a pan. What did you eat here? Uh, my grandfather he used to go to the river Rio Paz mm -hmm. and and buy pululos. It's a fish. Pululos. Pululo. Okay. It's a fish. I have never I guess, heard about that one. No. Don't sit anymore. Yes. Uh, okay. I have never heard about that kind of fish, but. Sounds interesting. 
Maybe you say you don't exist. exist. Or hootes. I ate hootes. Oh, hootes are like little snails, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. They are like little snails. I I didn't like this. You didn't? I think oh. some seconds ago I heard the Gobertus voice, but I couldn't listen to the whole idea. The Gobertus, what was that? I don't know uh, how I say it. Uh, the con las conchas que los come vivas. What do you mean? Huh? What What do you mean? Uh, extra big food. The like shells, the black conchas. Like normal shells, shells seashells. In blue no. with lemon and ah, onion like and... in cocktails. Yeah. I, yes. I, I, I uh, think that only in the Pacific coast of El Salvador, Honduras, and Nicaragua, it is. Which, oh, really? I, I thought it was common worldwide. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, my father liked shells. I'm not too much into that. Okay. So living and moving shells. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Guys, anything else that you have eaten? Deer. 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 Okay. So uh -huh. deer meat. Okay. Deer. That's not common though. Here in El Salvador. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess that is not common because it is endangered species. So it is protected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Santa Tecla. Uh, there is a place to prepare this kind of, of food oh, uh, in Mama Rosa. Mama Rosa, okay. Yes. Like all different exotic food. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. You know, I have eaten a lot of crazy things, uh, but because I grew up in the countryside, so I ate like um, opossum, and the uh, uh, armadillo that was very common. Uh, what was the other one? Um, the wildcat. Turtle. No, I have never eaten turtle. Turtle and a snake. I guess those are the things that I will never eat. But opossum is very similar to a rat. Do you know what opossums are? No. No. Um, the I, oh my god the the ex major of San Salvador have a, a nickname but no 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 um Aquacin. yes Aquacin. yes that one that's an apostle uh, yeah like a sariwaya right yeah. yeah so i okay. ate one once <laughs> yeah and it was not that bad it was good actually yeah. But yeah. Really? Yes. How do yes. you say How does? There is no way to say that. But there is an opossum. The animal is an opossum. So uh, that's a very exotic thing, I guess, and not very common. All right. So guys, let's work a little bit on some of these first conditional sentences. Um, if we take a look here, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it got deleted, sorry. So if you take a look here, normally the first part of the sentence goes uh, with simple present and whatever will happen, then we are going to use will. We can use a might. Might is like maybe, right? Or we can use may. That is another way to say maybe too. So might and may. Um, we are going to use, uh, imagine for example, guys, if teacher yes we never use can not here because can is for something that is real yeah, yeah so in this case this is not for real this is only kind of a hypothetical situation you think that mm -hmm. it will happen but you are not sure so that is why we use we because we are not sure for example guys if i eat snake what do you think your reaction will be if you eat a snake? Will you throw up? I will enjoy it. You will food. enjoy it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, like, My God. Mm, I will throw up, maybe. Ah, uh -huh, that's what I thought. So I, I will. 
Well, let's let's have Yolanda's idea here. I think it's quite interesting. So if I eat a snake, I will enjoy it. I will throw up. All right. I will feel when you. Yes, Elvis. When you uh, want to eat again. Uh, uh -huh. Operation. I don't know. Operation. A surgery. They don't ask. Don't have a vasectomy. Oh. Anesthesia. Anesthesia. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Vasectomy is a little different. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but I have heard that that is a very nice uh, hypothesis here. So if mm -hmm. you eat a lot of a snake, a snake and one, I think a snake and these little lizards. I'm not sure if that is for real. If you eat a lot of a snake, anesthesia, anesthesia will oh, not. Don't work mm -hmm. so people say that that if you eat like a lot of a snake iguana garrobo all those little lizards um if you get anesthesia the anesthesia will not work i don't know if that is for real what else have you heard teacher yes. i eat um a snake i feel sickness teacher oh okay we will feel sick all right I yeah will or my, I will yes. my it, it it's correct to say I will my. I might. No. I might. I might. Yes, I, I might. might. Uh, just we need like the, the rest of the idea. Let, let me write it here so we can look at it. Um, so for example, if I eat snake, I might instead of using will, I'm going to change the will for might. I might. Okay. I might feel sick. Mm -hmm. So I might feel sick, or we can say I may feel sick, or I can say I will feel sick. So it's the same idea, only we are changing um, auxiliary here. Mm -hmm. But it's it's okay. It's all right. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank anything you. else? Yes, tell me. When you wrote, I might feel sick, this, this sentence is on present, simple present. Um, uh, the verb, uh, what happens is that I might, I might, will, sick. might, and may normally are for future. So the no. sentence, this part looks present. The verb, looks like the verb present. don't change. Exactly, because the verb Not never, change. never, never change. For example, I want to change here, and I want to say Enrique. If Enrique, it's, Enrique, mm -hmm, I'm going to change the verb because it's third person. It's, if Enrique it's, eats a snake, he might. Uh, he might, exactly. So if you check, even I'm using third person, I am not going to change the verb. I cannot modify it. The same happens with may. He may feel sick. He might feel sick. He will feel sick. You never change verb uh, after an auxiliary. Yes. That's a, a really good point. All right. Yes. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, feel uh, don't need the, the S there at the end. That is right. Because uh, when you use this, when you use will, might, and may, they are called auxiliaries. So we never, ever, ever change the verb. Uh, we cannot use as, we cannot use the past. No, we can never uh, make those changes. Mm -hmm. So that is part of the, of the um, what, a special, you know, characteristic of uh, will, might, and may. Well, all um, auxiliary verbs. Okay, guys. So let's talk a little bit about some food then. Are you allergic to anything? Yeah. I, yes. I, I, I'm allergic. I, I'm allergic oh. to no eat. <laughs> oh, we can also use that idea. So I eat if, everything. Uh -huh, I eat everything. But we can use that. If I don't eat, you know, um, during the morning, for example. So what happens to you if you don't eat for a short period of, of time or a long period of time? What is your I body reaction? A, I have a, a headache. headache. Mm, okay. So because we don't know, maybe we will get a headache, maybe not. 
So we can use I will, I might, or I may. So if I don't eat during the morning, I might get a headache. I might have a headache, exactly. So you know what? This happens to me with coffee. If I don't drink coffee, I will have a headache for sure. So me I either. need. Yeah, you, right. You will be yes. sleepy too. Oh, I will be a sleepy. No, but in my case, if I don't, I don't know why, but if I don't have a cup of coffee in the morning, I will get a headache around 11. So it's crazy. I'm After sorry for you. I'm so sorry. No, but it's fine. <laughs> when you are 30, you will tell me. <laughs> After 30, everything is different. <laughs> okay. I have 25, I have 27. Oh, three more years. <laughs> nah, I know we'll so, change. <laughs> when you turn 30, all your body changes. Okay. Guys, can you give me more, more of the, um, I don't know, what, what happens to you? Can you give me some examples using conditional number one? You can I tell me about your allergies. Mm -hmm. Give it to uh, me, give it to I, us. I wrote a sentence. If you go out while it's rain, you may get a bad call. Oh, that's right. Okay. I don't know to say. Gripe is bad cold? Cold is fine, or you can use flu. flu. But flu is more flu. specific. Mm -hmm. Cold is perfect. You will get a cold. <laughs> because flu is just okay. related to your nose. And cold is everything. Like your nose, your cough, your headache. So it's everything. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you have any other example, guys? Give me more, give me more ideas here. Uh, if you don't uh, use uh, mascarilla, a mask, you, oh, yeah. a mask uh, you will uh, catch uh, COVID. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, okay, that's, that's a good Omicron. point. Other example. Omicron, uh -huh. Omicron. Yes. Other example. Yes, yes, yes. If I don't work, I won't have money. Uh, that's for sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for really sure. Thing. Unfortunately, guys, give us more ideas. I want to listen to everybody's voice. Go ahead, guys. I'm allergic to to call. Okay. So what happens uh, if you get a cold, uh, or if it is cold? You mean the weather, get... right? Yes, mm -hmm. the weather, the cold weather. Mm -hmm. And if I, I don't know how to say, exponerse. Expose. Exponerse, expose mm -hmm. to, to, the, to the cold weather. Mm -hmm. I will get, uh, my, I will get that my skin is, um, my skin, I don't know how to say, inflamarse. What? Uh, Wow, no. that's an extreme <laughs> reaction. So your skin gets swollen, swollen. or you get yes. an allergic reaction in your skin. Okay, a swollen is very specific, like big, right? So no. any oh. part of your body can be swollen. Your eyes, for example, um, I don't know, your hands. So yeah, that's a swollen, like big. When, your when, body I, gets big. when I eat ice cream mm. for a long time, Oh. oh, 15, 15 minutes. Get a swollen. And my lips get swollen and my oh. tongue. Okay. Wow, that's an extreme allergic reaction. <laughs> wow, okay. okay. Another example. Common. Yes. If you drive drunk, you will mm -hmm. have an accident and go to the jail. <laughs> yeah, or something bad will happen to mm -hmm. you. Yeah, that's 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 a good one. All right, guys. Oh, wait, this is another one. Uh, I have some exercises for you. Give me one second. Hold on. I think I moved the exercise. Give me one sec. All right. Where are you? Oh, this is the one. Okay. Give me just a sec. Let me share my screen and help me with this exercise, guys. Okay, there you go. So here we have just first conditional sentences. 
and in a blue, you can see the verb. But of course, we, we have to modify this, right? We have to use the structure uh, to make it work. So remember, next to the if clause, we are going to use simple present. If you see a comma here, normally you have if, sentence, comma, this, this is part of the structure, and then the second part, will, might, or may. Can you help me with number one? Anybody, any volunteer? If I study, I will pass the exam. That's a really good cool one, exactly. What about number two? Raul, can you help us with number two? If the sun uh, shine, mm -hmm. um, we you know, might walk into, into town. Oh, very nice. Okay. Uh, just here, remember to use yes. chimes. Exactly. Shines. Yes. Oh, okay. If the sun shines. Okay. I like that you use might. So you use something different. Very nice. Yes. Number three. Ana Maria, do you have number three? Can you help us with number three, please? Oh, uh, you're mute. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. I was like, I'm not sure. <laughs> if we to have a temperature, is correct? A uh, pronunciation. A temperature. Temperature. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> if he to have a temperature, he he to a uh, call the doctor. All right, Jess, we are going to modify this a little bit. Uh, this has to be present and this has to be future. So if he has, 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 has if he has a temperature, he, he will see the doctor. There we go. He will see, he might see, he may see. Exactly. Exactly. So this is the most common, right? If he has a temperature, if you have a temperature, so uh, you will, or a fever, that's the most common word. Uh, number four, Elvis, can you help us in, with number four? Thank you, Anna. Okay. Elvis, are you there? Maybe not. Claudia, are you around? Uh, if my friends come, uh, I will be very happy. Thank you. Yes, that's right. What about number five? Um, Sylvia, can you help us with number five, please? Okay, teacher. If she earns a lot of money, she will fly to New York. Oh, very nice. Okay. What about number six? Jasmine, can you help us with number six? If she earns a lot of money, she... Oh, the next one, please. Next, number six. Oh. <laughs> I'm so it's sorry. okay. It's okay. No problem. If we travel to London, mm -hmm. we will visit the museum. Mm -hmm. The museums. Very good. Nice. Uh, Veronica, help us with number seven, please. Uh, sorry. If yes, you, please. If you to wear sandals in the mountains, you. My to sleep on the rock. That sounds good. Just eliminate the two. Eliminate these two and eliminate these two. Ah, you might sleep on the rocks. Mm -hmm. There we go. So if you wear sandals, uh -huh, you will sleep. Very nice. Exactly. Here uh, we are using two because this is the verb, but you don't really need it. Um, not in sentences, not when we are talking. Thank you. Uh, Fernando, number eight, can you help us, please? If Rita forgot her homework, mm -hmm. the teacher will give her a low mark. All right, thank you. That makes sense. Uh, just don't forget the S. So if Rita forgets, very nice job. Okay. I'm sorry, forget. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Uh, Miss Melara, help us with number nine, please. 
If they go to the disco, they will listen to loud music. Very nice. There we go. And uh, Maria Jose, please, number 10. If you wait a minute, I will ask my parents. Amazing. Very, very nice. Okay, guys. Good job with this. Now, I have some questions for you so we can practice this topic. I Actually, I have only three. The first one says, if you learn uh, to speak English perfectly, how will it change your life? So we are talking about possibilities here. So we are going to use will for all those changes, right? For the results, for the consequences. So I will get another job, I will travel, I don't know. What do you think will happen in the future? Number two says, if you have problems sleeping tonight, what will you do? So remember, we can use I will, I might, I may to talk about those possibilities. The last one says, if you get a pay raise uh, this year, like more money, right? If you get um, a promotion, a pay raise, what will you spend it on? So what will you do with the extra money that you will get. We are not saying you will get a pay raise. We are saying if, right? If your boss is nice, if you do a good job and you get more money, what will you spend it on, right? Will you save it? Will you invest it? Being realistic. <laughs> All right, so be, being realistic about the environment here. Um, will you, if you spend it, what will you spend it on, right? So I'm going to give you guys a, a couple of minutes, like five minutes, so we can share ideas. Um, and then we can try to share with everybody. So give me one moment. I'm going to send you to super, super small groups so everybody can participate. Five minutes, guys. Go discuss them, and then we come back. So you can take a picture of the equations. Let's go. Okay. We have to we have to uh, discuss choice one of one or about of three the three of them the three oh, of okay. them yeah they are quite simple I guess yes okay. five minutes guys let's go let's go let's go. If you learn to speak uh, English perfectly, how, how will it change your life? Okay. ¿Cómo cambiaría su vida? Ajá. For example, <laughs> I will be gringo. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, and, um, I'm married with a gringo. <laughs> doors uh, open, open doors in my work. In, okay. In in your job. Um, an possibility. <laughs> okay. In your job, uh, the it it will open the doors for you new opportunities. I don't know new opportunities. In. Okay. Well, in my case, I need to learn uh, English because I need to write some reports uh, in English. And I need to, I don't know, structure uh, sentences in the right form. 
Nice. Oh my goodness. This is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but your job is beautiful. I can help you if you need any help writing. I love okay. writing. <laughs> Yes, when I have a I have a problem because I need to prepare a new uh, action pitch uh, about the policy uh, in the topic of prevention of violence, and for me in this moment is a big problem. <laughs> oh, I see. Wait, I look like I was wait one second. <laughs> What okay. happened with your filters? <laughs> uh, no, it's not a filter. It's the light. The thing is, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I turned off the light, but the light was not working. It's the light. Um. So, yeah, I totally get that. Well, Yolanda is gone. <laughs> okay, guys, what about the rest of you? In my case, I will will change a, a lot because new job opportunities will, um, will open up for me and also what I like to travel. Oh. Nice, I hope that works. Okay, so I hope you, you will travel. Travel to Canada. <laughs> This is my excellent. Idea. Amazing. I know that the country, I know the government is opening up a lot of uh, like, let's say cooperation with Canada. Um, I think they did it last year. They started sending people from El Salvador. So hopefully you have the chance to travel soon, sooner than you think. Oh. So continue practicing. <laughs> okay. uh, so Canada needs a lot of workers in a year. Every year they need it. For example, I read about one million people needed Canada to build the, her economy and their uh, social structure. I've read about it. So in my case, I need to learn and perfectly my English because in my job, I'm project management. That's why I listen English teachers every day and all the day. <laughs> also, I understand, but- Amazing. Not as easy to speak with them <laughs> because they are so, <laughs> they are, um, like natives <laughs> and speaking. That's why I need to speak, but because I only understand, but I am not like a dog, right? <laughs> to talk, understand, but not speak. <laughs> oh, but, but you know, you, with the practice, you get it. So yeah. that is something that you can achieve. So you are communicating and that's important. So just practice as much as you can and you will make it, don't worry. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's remember that English is a matter of practice. The more you practice, the easier it gets. Um, your pronunciation gets better. You know, your intonation gets better just with practice. Yeah. You're doing a nice job. So you're, you're communicating you. pretty nicely. <laughs> All right. What about the second question, guys? The second one says, um, let me check it there. Okay. It says, if you have problems sleeping tonight, what will you do? So when you have any issue sleeping or insomnia, so what do you normally do, guys? Or what will you do tonight? If I have a problem sleeping tonight, I will uh, drink a cup of milk, hot milk. Does it work? Uh, in my case, yes. <laughs> Nice. But I I I, I uh, never. Uh, well, in, uh, usually I don't have a. I don't insomnia. <laughs> mm -hmm. you didn't have it. No. Nice. No. So you just hit your bed and you fall asleep. Yes. Wow. I always <laughs> uh, put in my pillow my hair and I sleep. Wow. <laughs> I admire you. That's amazing. <laughs> okay. I can't do the same. 
Well, Actually, I don't have problem for to sleep. I can sleep uh, the morning. I can sleep uh, uh, after lunch, and I can sleep right now. <laughs> if I don't doing anything for some minutes, I have sleep. <laughs> Wow! Yeah, that's amazing. That's a I special, in a special minutes, ability, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he born uh, tired. <laughs> no, I'm not tired. I am active, but you were, you I can't sleep. Tired. You born tired. <laughs> uh, I think uh, he has a, a clean. Uh, I don't know. Conscience, I don't know. Conscience, yes. Conscience. No, but I have a clean conscience. And... No, I don't know. I don't know. We don't know, teacher. Yeah, we don't know. No, no, you know, the thing is, I guess, has to be with your habits, right? For example, I am used to doing exercise. So when I do exercise, I can go to bed immediately. But for example, these last two weeks, I have been feeling sick. So I haven't done exercise because I was having problems. So I went to bed at around four or five in the morning. That was really bad. So I'm, I'm hoping next week I feel better and I don't have insomnia anymore, but, but it doesn't have to be the good conscience. <laughs> that's that's nice okay and oh my god i think that time is running now we got like a minute there what about question is the third one guys if you get a pay raise this year what will you do with the money so imagine you get a promotion or extra money what will you do veronica teacher i have a question for you yes ask me what were your first steps in English or did you speak like you? I'm sorry, what was that? What were your first steps in English mm -hmm. or did you speak like you? Like, uh, like you? Yes. Oh, got it. Um, At the yeah. beginning, I think so. Yeah. Everybody has gone in this process, in this path, you know. Uh, the thing is that um, when I started studying English, I was like 16 years old. So I was a little kind of young, you know. So um, I practiced every day, like every single day, up to the point that um, I spoke English for eight hours every day you know, with my friends, with my sister, with my teachers. So the more you practice, the easier it will get. But yes, I spoke worse than you. <laughs> no, I spoke, I spoke exactly, you are going through a process. I went through that process, you know, like it's, um, what, we make a lot of mistakes at the beginning. We speak slowly. It is difficult at the beginning to bring the words that you need to make sentences. It is normal, it's part of the process, but the more you practice, the easier it will get, you know? And uh, of course, listening improves, pronunciation improves, but I'm just super happy, you know, because this is intermediate too. And you only have classes one hour per day. It is not a lot. It is just very limited, but you communicate nicely. So I'm like, wow, I, I didn't expect you guys to speak this much. So I'm like, I'm super you know, happy that I can speak English all the time. And you follow me and you reply to me. <laughs> so I think it's something positive. Okay, thank you. It's amazing. I, it's good to, to know <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because just this part that you understand me and you reply, wow, that is a really big ability, you know? Um, because normally in listening, we um, struggle more or listening is more difficult sometimes. But I'm like super happy that you follow me, that I can listen to you and we can continue talking. So that is amazing. This is I really think, good. Um, I'm sorry, I think the best is that right now I don't translate her. 
Exactly. Or in the beginning, you can, you are translator every word and you say, oh, what does it mean? What does it mean? But right now, I don't translate. I only got the, the words and, and I <laughs> make an structure at the same. <laughs> wow, nice. <laughs> exactly. That is another thing that we want to understand word by word. And if we don't understand, we feel frustrated because it's like, oh, my, my listening is bad. And it is not so. So if you don't translate anymore, kudos for you. So that is an extra, <laughs> an extra thing. Oh my God, guys, time is over. Okay, <laughs> Let's go back you, super quick to the group. Thank you guys for uh -huh. um, bearing. Uh... Teacher. Yes. Uh, your comment is better than uh, get a pay rise for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> nice to hear <laughs> no no that's amazing uh thank you guys for coming we were discussing with one of the groups and i was telling them you know that um uh, you are having just one hour class uh, per day you are intermediate too however um the fact that we can communicate that i'm not translating that you are not translating that I ask you a question and you try to reply, you try to answer. That is amazing. So this is really, really cool for an intermediate level. Um, so um, we were talking before with Yolanda's group about it. So I think that you are doing an amazing job, guys. Uh, just trying to speak English all the time, taking advantage of this one hour class that we have that is pretty limited but you are doing an amazing job so yes kudos guys um time is never enough <laughs> i feel that we need more time but anyways this is like part of the of the show right um guys just a little a little something uh, i was checking and i was uh, well that was checking in the platform i'm gonna say this in spanish Guys, solamente les pido su ayuda con la plataforma. Hay algunos por ahí que se me están quedando eh, behind, right? Que se me están quedando en la sección 2. Eh, para esta semana, para el día de mañana, debemos de completar la sección número 4. Y de ser posible la número 5, para la próxima semana ya no estar molestando la... Elvis termina, ¿verdad? Yo no... <laughs> para ya no estarles escribiendo, right? Or anything. Esto es una broma, Elvis. But, pero sí, de broma, broma guys. Mm -hmm. Si les pido su ayuda con la plataforma, recordemos que tenemos hasta eh, 80% mínimo para tener una passing score, right? Um, thank you, guys. Gracias por su participation. Nos vemos el día lunes, right? No se conecten mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow uh, on Monday. Have an amazing day. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. 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 b